If you haven't immersed yourself in the world of Bitmoji yet, it's never too late to do so. Bitmoji is wonderful for the classroom, it can benefit teachers and help students engage in their learning. I've gotten a lot of questions from staff and other friends about how to get started with Bitmoji. So today at Ednificent, we're going to take a look at just that, how to set up Bitmoji and how to get going with it as a Chrome extension. The first thing that we want to do is go into our Google Play Store or App Store. Within the Play Store, we're going to search for Bitmoji. You can see I've already downloaded it, but this is what the page will look like. Once you've installed Bitmoji, go ahead and open it. And you've downloaded it and are ready to get going. After you've created your account, it's very easy to create your avatar. Bitmoji has you take a selfie and it creates the avatar automatically for you. But you can adjust other things such as facial hair, eye shape, nose, and even your body shape. Once you have that done, it's time to dress your Bitmoji. Be creative with this, be fun with this, as this is representing who you are to your students. Go ahead and choose an outfit, your shoes, and any accessories that Bitmoji offers. You can change your fashion anytime by clicking on fashion at the bottom. Bitmojis are super fun to create and there's thousands of different options to choose from. Today, let's go ahead and search for good morning. As you can see, we have a lot of different options here, but we're going to select the sun. You can then see that there's lots of different ways to share your Bitmoji with friends and with your students. Now, while you create your Bitmoji and you can use your Bitmoji on your phone, many teachers want to use Bitmoji on the computer as well. And it's quite simple. Bitmoji acts as a Chrome extension. So head into Chrome and search for Bitmoji extension. You'll be brought to this page here. You can see we have a button, Add to Chrome. Go ahead and click that and Add Extension. After you add the extension, you'll be prompted to sign in to your Bitmoji account. Log in and it will automatically appear in your extensions. Now, if you have the trouble where you don't see the extension appearing, click on this little puzzle piece next to your image. This is where you can see a list of all of your extensions. Make sure that if you want to see your extension on your toolbar, you click on the pin here. Now you can see Bitmoji has appeared in our toolbar. To access Bitmoji, just click on the icon and your Bitmojis will appear. Just as you did on the phone, you can easily search for any type of Bitmoji and they'll appear there. At this point, you must be wondering, how do I get started using Bitmoji in my classroom? And how do I get the most from it? Well, don't worry, Ednificent has you covered. In upcoming videos, we're going to be covering just that. We'll be looking at how to get started with Bitmoji, how to use it in your classroom, how to use it with a friend's Bitmoji, and even how to create your own Bitmoji classroom. We hope that you've enjoyed taking a look at getting started with Bitmoji. If you have any questions or need any additional help, please let us know in the comments below. As well, please take a moment to support us by hitting the like button and of course subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. We hope that you have a wonderful day today and enjoy getting started with Bitmoji.